are so thrilled. We're live now with you on the show. Thrilled to have you this morning. Well, thank you for having all of us from the Autism Society uh, oh, this yeah. week on your show. Okay. So we appreciate it. Well, we're thrilled. We know that you got an amazing conference. I didn't get a chance to do an intro, so let me talk a little bit about who you are. You okay. Are, you are a board-certified behavior analyst that's been working in the private sector field of autism for 25-plus years. You're a featured author and on the advisory board of the Autism Asperger Digest magazine. You were the uh, Your 2008 triple award-winning book, Early in Intervention in Autism, Real Life Questions, Real Life Answers is amazing and out there and people should be getting that. You are the chairman of the board uh, for the Autism Society of America. So this conference is very near and dear to your heart. And you are also on the Interagency Autism Coordinating Committee, that IACC. Uh, you were appointed to that in 2012. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Beyond that, you have, Take a breath. <laughs> a, yeah, you have a host of awards that you have won. Um, in, in the field of autism and been recognized for your work in the field of autism. So we're delighted to have you, first of all. And, and we want to talk a little bit about this amazing conference that right. you have helped put together that's going on right now in Indianapolis. We've already yep. had some amazing guests yesterday from this conference. But we want to know from you, what are some of the exciting things that are happening this year that you want folks at home to know about? I, I think the biggest thing is... Um, from our feedback that we got in the Pittsburgh conference last year, a lot of people wanted more networking opportunities. So this year we've tried to make very um, small breakout sessions for people to get together and just chat about what's going on in the field of autism. Uh, our panel of professional advisors, which is a group um, of individuals who are professionals in the field um, who give guidance to the uh, board of directors based on things that are going on in the field have also uh, agreed to do breakout sessions uh, with one-on-one -on -one with our families, with individuals, so if they have specific questions, uh, and we tailor-made that to specific areas like adult services, the school-aged, you know, uh, early intervention, so we were really trying to uh, hit hard that networking piece this year. I love that because, you know, we, we know that this is not a one-size-fits-all in any way, shape, or form, autism. And it sounds like you're coming to this conference and you're really tailoring it to your individual needs. Last year, um, and I'll give all the credit to the Autism Society of America staff, Scott Badish and his crew, who's our president and CEO, um, did a very good uh, job last year of making sure that they got as much feedback from the participants as possible. Uh, and Richard Wolf uh, was our um, I guess, master of ceremonies last year. And he went and talked to all the participants to, again, get why do you come to the conference? What are you looking for? What do you need? Um, and we really based this conference on all of the evaluations that we got last year. What have you learned from parents participating in these conferences? Uh, we're unique in the fact that for a vast majority of our affiliates, which we have 106 throughout the country, um, they are parents of people on the spectrum, but they're also professionals. Um, so they wear two hats. So for the first part of the conference, they're here to do the work of their affiliates. So if they're from Illinois, if they're from Indiana, if they're from New Jersey, they're here to gain information on how to bring it back to provide resources in their own communities. So the first couple of days, they wear that hat. The next couple of days, they wear the hat of a parent. Um, so they're trying to gain as much information about their individual children. So our families, you know, are always trying to figure out more information and trying to get more resources for their kids on top of providing those resources for the community. Right. Well, we, we can relate to that, too. I mean, yes. we're always going to things, and we, we feel that, I think so many people in the community feel that need to pay it forward, to get yep. information to other people, because we know we got it from other people. So right. I love that your conference finds a way to marry those two things together for them to get that information and then be the individual, too, and find time to be the parent, because we're always saying that we need to find more time for each thing. It's yes, hard to it's juggle. Yes, it's a juggling it. act. It's it is. Juggling yeah. Act. yeah. Um, one, one of the highlights, if I can, one of the highlights uh, for me for this conference is, um, and it's going on right now today on Wednesday, but we run a pre-conference for individuals on the spectrum who are looking for self-advocate skills. Mm -hmm. um, and we have people like Dina Gasner um, and Dr. Stephen Shore who run those sessions. So it's run by people on the spectrum for people on the spectrum in how to um, understand 
that really difficult world of self-advocacy and when do you disclose and when don't you disclose. Uh, and I think that's a unique part of our conference. This year, we're going to have over 50 individuals on the spectrum participating uh, with us uh, as we do every year. Uh, and last year, for the first time, we were able to offer free registration to all people on the spectrum to come to the conference. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I was, you know, uh, Scott and I, uh, again, the president and CEO, Scott Baddish, when we were walking around last year, an individual, uh, a professional came up and said to us, they said, you know, listen, I have to leave today. And I think it was Thursday. So they'd only been at the conference two days. They said, because I have to get back and I hadn't planned on staying here the entire time. Um, but I would just want to tell you that, you know, coming here, I've never been at a conference and I've been at many autism conferences that really had a sense of community. Uh, and I think that's one of the unique characteristics of our conference.